The next part of the electrocardiogram tracing or ECG uh, drawing that we'll be looking at is the ST segment, right? And the ST segment is usually the distance from this word S to T, okay? So ST segment, like that part of the wave is known as a segment for X and T, okay? So we'll be talking about it, we'll be defining it we we'll look at several pictures where we should show you guys where the ST segment is. Then we we'll look, look at the what? Normal ST segment. What are the characteristics of a normal ST segment? Then we we'll look at the abnormal ST segment. They're looking at the abnormal um, wave or segment or anything. You are usually trying to look at what? The disease conditions that are associated with it. Okay. So for the ST segment, this is what? Then we'll look at causes of the ST abnormality or causes of what? ST depression. All right. So for the ST segment, um, we said that what the ST segment in electrocardiography represents the period of ventricular repolarization. You know that what? The QRS complex is for ventricular depolarization. So after depolarization, Repolarization sets in, and that's a period of what ST segment. All right, so and repolarization is more of like the recovery phase of the ventricular muscle cells after contraction. So that small period of relaxation is where the ST segment is trying to show off. All right, so if there's now abnormality in the ST segment, that shows that the heart is not relaxing as it should. All right, like in recitative cardiomyopathies, right? So a normal ST segment characteristics now, you know the normal to be able to dictate the abnormal. So the duration will be what? 0 0.08 to 0 0.12 seconds, right? Morphology is, um, it could be isoelectric, that's flat or slightly elevated, but still less than what? One millimeters. There's elevation here, but still less than one millimeters right so um slope is gradually what up sloping or horizontal should be straight line or just slightly up sloping so abnormal ones now which is usually the big deal all right so if you have an st segment not being like the typical st segment what does it indicate so if the st segment is elevated that means now you are having the ST segment feeling like a boss and being more than one millimeter, uh, millimeter, all right? In the case that there's a mild cardiac infarction, that's heart attack, or there's a coronary artery occlusion or pericarditis, okay? And it can also be seen in benign conditions like what? Early repolarization. Then if the ST segment is being depressed, all right? Instead of the ST segment being like this, it is now being inverted. Right, it's being depressed. It indicates myocardial ischemia, which is the reduced blood flow to the heart muscles. You could show that there's a coronary artery disease. You show that there's a cardiac strain. The ST segment deviation, which is when it is called horizontal or down sloping ST segment. It indicates myocard either myocardial ischemia or myocardial infarction. But this one, because this one is not, it's just horizontal, it's just in the middle. All right, to indicate anything that upsloping ST segment indicates early repolarization or pericarditis. Then talking about the causes of ST segment abnormalities, that you are bringing all of them together. Either there's an elevation, depression, or there's a deviation. All right, we are bringing all of them together. It could be mild cardiac infarction or heart attack, as people literally call it. It could be coronary artery disease, it could be cardiac strain, it could be pericarditis, it could be electrolyte imbalance, it could be what? From medications, like the person is taking some medications that don't feel good. All right? So this could all be the possible causes of what? ST segment abnormalities. That's why you are saying there's an ST segment elevation, depression, or deviation, right? So that's it, guys, and uh, thank you.